Hello writers, welcome back to another ODU Writing Center video tutorial. My name is Stephanie Dambrook and this is Essay Test Taking Strategies Part 2. If you haven't watched Part 1 of this tutorial, you might want to return to the channel page and catch up. For all of you returning viewers, welcome back and let's dive right in. Last time we were introduced to a really effective strategy to organize our time in essay tests called Repower, remember? We already conquered the first three concepts, relax, evaluate, and plan. Today we will focus on the last three, organize, write, and revise. By the end of this video, you should have a handle on how to tackle all aspects of the writing process in a time crunch. Okay, imagine you've relaxed and jotted down some ideas for the content of your essay. How should you organize these ideas? Considering using a concept map or idea tree. To make a concept map, draw a bubble around your thesis or main idea, and then smaller bubbles representing the main pro points of your argument, and so on. An idea tree is similar. Write down your main idea on the trunk of the tree, and then branch out your ideas from there. Both of these strategies are really helpful because they allow you to visualize how all of your ideas are interconnected, which best fit your thesis, and which you can expand on enough to create well-developed body paragraphs. After you've spent a few minutes on your concept map or idea tree, transfer your organization to a quick outline. Consider these questions. Do all of these ideas support my thesis? What should the order of the paragraphs be? Typically, you want to present your strongest arguments first, but don't end on a weak note either. On to the W in Repower, write. It's time to draft your essay. If you are following the 545-10 ratio for structuring a one hour exam, you now have about 45 minutes to write. Because you have just spent a good amount of time on pre-writing, the actual writing should be a cinch. Remember that the question keywords dictate the form of your essay. Take a moment to glance back at the question before you begin to make sure you're on the right track. Now simply write from your outline, making slight adjustments as necessary. Because you did all the major thinking and evaluating during pre-writing, there should be no surprises here. Just let the words flow. Once again, keep in mind the question, your thesis, and where you're going overall. Congratulations, you now have a rough draft written. Let's tackle the final concept of repower, revise. To revise, always start with the big picture. Your professor is more likely to take off more points for problematic content rather than minor grammar mistakes. Here's a handy checklist for revision. In the 10 minutes or so left, ask yourself these questions. Do I have an introduction with a clearly stated thesis? Are my ideas presented logically? Does my conclusion restate the thesis without sounding too repetitive? Did I actually answer all aspects of the question? Now consider how you presented your argument. Did I explain all the ideas I presented with specific details and examples for support? Did I go off on any tangents? Do I have a coherent arrangement from topic to topic? Are my transitions smooth? If you were required to reference material, material or ideas belonging to an outside source, make sure you have dialogue text that clearly attribute that information. It is unlikely that you will be required to memorize page numbers for a timed test, but just make sure that you show clearly that borrowed information is not your own. One good way to differentiate these sentences is by adding according to to the beginning of paraphrased consent, as in according to scholar so-and-so, and then continue on with the paraphrasing from there. With the remaining time, focus on proofreading for common grammar errors. Here are a few strategies to handle this. Read your paper to yourself quietly without disturbing your classmates, or pretend that you're someone else. Read for mistakes as if you're reading the work of a stranger. Another option is to read your paper backwards sentence by sentence. Don't read for meaning, only grammar and mechanics. This is a great way to catch the little things like missing commas and misspelled words. It is also a welcome change from reading your paper straight through over and over, which might make you accidentally gloss over small mistakes. Finally, know yourself. If you know that you sometimes drop commas while drafting, definitely leave a few minutes to proofread for them in particular. Most importantly, make the time work for you. Remember, a well-written answer to an essay question is focused, organized, supported, and packaged. Is your essay now all of these things? I hope so. Let's review Repower one more time. In a timed essay test, always relax, evaluate, plan, organize, write, and revise. Bravo! You are now well on your way to becoming an ex expert in essay test time management. Before I let you go, here are my references for both part one and part two of this tutorial. These represent only a few of the great resources available to you on this topic. Check them out. Thanks for watching and good luck on your finals.